everyone, I'm the Fanninger Geek, and welcome back to Kaiju Movie Differences. Today we're going to be going and looking at the movies, Ebira Horror of the Deep, the Japanese version and the two English versions that I have. Also known as, in Japan, as Godzilla, Ma Ma Ebira, and Mothra, Battle at the South Seas, or Ebira Horror of the Deep. Better known in the U.S. as Godzilla vs. the Sea Monster. Yeah, pretty generic title, yeah. I don't know why, but this movie always sticks out to me as one of my favorite childhood memories growing up. With watching Godzilla vs. the Sea Monster whenever I had the chance to, whenever I felt like it. Um, I have the Japanese version. This is the uncut Japanese version. This is the Kraken release of Godzilla vs. the Sea Monster. And it has, uh, it has Japanese, uh, it has the Japanese dub on it too, but it's not like the Godzilla movies like Ghidorah and, uh, Invasion of the Astro Monster that have both the uncut Japanese version and English version. And, of course, the VHS copy. This is the Good Times video, uh, tape of Godzilla vs. the Sea Monster. The original Titra dub, as it's known as in, on this video that I saw, it was it's called the Titra dub, but I just call it the original English dub. So yeah, there are two English versions for this film. That's why that today is going to be a little bit fun to do. So, the plot: Rota's brother has uh, has crashed, uh, has his ship has disappeared in the South Seas, and Rolta tries to go to the police to. Uh, to look for his brother they wouldn't do it but so he ends up going with these few friends they found a yacht they end up going on that yacht and stealing it taking it out to sea to look for his brother it was originally taken down and they landed on an island uncharted island with the red bamboo organization a terrorist group bent on destroying uh destroying earth i believe because they were making nuclear weapons on the island and they have what they call yellow liquid that helps them uh, go through, go to Infant Island to capture natives so that Ebira won't attack them while they're trying to go over to the, to the Infant Island. Um, so they, the, peop, the crew end up finding Godzilla inside of a cave and they end up waking him up and everything. So Godzilla, he uh, go, tramples the base of the red bamboo and fights Ebira twice and ends up killing him in, in the end. Uh, he ends up fighting a giant condor a little bit later in the movie, but yeah. Anyways, uh, that's pretty much the plot of the entire film. Um, it's got one of the most interesting plots out there, but I'm not talking about the plot anymore, but the plot is interesting. It, there's not a lot of Godzilla movies that have this sort of interesting plot to it. Especially with the Red Bamboo Organization being a terrorist group, and I'm like, that's interesting. It's different than other Godzilla films that were at, that were made at the time. But yeah, now let's go to the Japanese version. Um, really, the only difference between this and the English version is that this is the this is the basically the entire cut of the movie that was used in the Kraken release or the 2004. 50th anniversary Godzilla vs. the Sea Monster DVD. This one here, of course, has on the main credits, the um, title credits, it has, they're in Japanese, of course, so that's really the only difference there. And of course, with this one, this is the Kraken release, and it has the TriStar dub that was made in 2004 for 50th anniversary of Godzilla. So, yeah. Um, that's pretty much it with that, but now let's walk, let's walk over to the VHS version. The Titra dub is one of the most interesting types of cuts that I've seen in the movie. It first starts out as, of course, the title, and then it just shows the scene where these, these, uh, people are getting attacked by Ebira in their, in their boat. I believe that was in the Titra dub. They were trying to make it seem like that that was Yata's boat, and eventually they just like, look, let's put that there, and you don't, you don't see, there's a scene in the movie, in the original Japanese version, and uh, TriStar dub, 
where Rolta goes to the um, police off the police to take a ship out there to go look for Yada. But they wouldn't do it because they don't believe that a priest has told him uh, that he believed that a, treat, a priest has told him that his brother's not dead. But yeah, they don't show that scene. But as soon as you see the uh, woman talking about Yata and all that, it goes right over to the scene where they're dancing to try to win for a yacht. So, yeah. That's one difference that I can tell. And plus, with the TriStar dub, the dub makes it to where that they have the name of the Red Bamboos organization or just the name of the soldiers that you see in the movie. And in this movie, you don't hear that whatsoever. You don't hear what the what the soldiers' names are, or well, not really names, but you don't hear the name of the organization in the Trista Titra dub. And of course, there's also Ebira. You do not you do not hear them call the monster Ebira in the um, in the Titra dub. It's uh, different. They say they call it monster, giant lobster, or anything like that. I, but, yeah, they never call Ebira by, the, by name in the movie. So, yeah, that's really the only differences I can tell between this one and, ty and, the, and the TriStar version. Both versions are really good, but I recommend the VHS dub, the Titra dub, because the, the TriStar dub has a obnoxious voice for one of the characters in the movie, so... That's one reason why I don't like watching the TriStar version, is that that guy's voice always annoys me. So I, rem I, I recommend the Titra dub if you're going to watch the Godzilla vs. Sea Monster. Or, if you have this bootleg copy, you can watch the uncut Japanese version right here. His voice is not annoying like in the tri TriStar dub. So, both these movies are good to watch if you want to watch a monster movie. So yeah, that's the differences between the Titra dub, the TriStar dub, and the original Japanese version for Godzilla vs. the Sea Monster. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time on Kaiju Movie Differences.